the purification process. Do you know today is August the 30th? Yeah. So when I tell you that the Lord took this journey, okay, and went his way with it, I can explain it all in my journey entry. Here goes. Well, this purification journey did not go according to plan. The Lord showed up in such a way that has me in awe. Do you know only once in a year, my menstrual cycle comes on twice in one month? Once in a year. You guessed it. The Lord chose this month for that to happen. Wow. Naturally, my body has gone through purification twice in 30 days. I can't imagine what all the Lord has done spiritually. I do know that Father has given me a well-made up mind and a fixed heart. That's also sparked my interest in fasting and all of the benefits that comes with it. Okay. The forgiveness is explosive too. And how where I thought maybe I had given different ones a clean slate. How now I know that my clean isn't necessarily God's clean. So many more things that the Lord has done. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Look, I was able to complete another project that can be shared with many as the Lord do allow. Father has taught me how to walk by faith more. Amen. I'm more thankful for you. Okay. And I'm more thankful for the fivefold ministry and how I understand that we are all in a battle together to stop the agents of the enemy from destroying the old landmark and from trying to destroy our perfect example. The example Father left, which is Jesus the Christ, the anointed one. I have decided not to end this purification journey, but to continue. Most of this month, I've been dealing with blood and water. Sound disgusting, but I told you that I would be honest with you. And so I've been dealing with that this month. And it's almost impossible to keep focus on the loss of weight when the Lord just burst into so many other areas. And so... It's like my focus shifted, although there was benefits there as well with everything that was going and with the things that the Lord had me in front and center and focusing on. Yeah, so my views kind of shifted a little bit. But this is why another reason that I'm going to continue this purification journey because the Lord has just expanded my mind to so many things, so many things. 15 pills that we started with here. And as you can see, there's still 15 pills there. And now for Three, the wake check-in. Two, one. Do I feel vulnerable with a weight check-in? But I believe this is something that the Lord is causing. It's like a hurdle. You know what I mean? Like it's like a hurdle. I believe the Lord is causing me to fly over. Amen. And so the more I do it, the more I get more comfortable with it, the more is not a barrier anymore. Amen. Because like I mentioned before, it was a barrier for me personally. It was a barrier for me. So um, while I do still feel a little self-conscious about sharing my numbers with you, I feel more open, right, than I did before. Like before, it was like it would have been a nightmare, like, right? But now... You know, it's, I'm getting more and more used to, it's just being, you know, second nature, right? So I'm excited about this purification journey. Um, I wanted to conclude this part of it, right? Although I'm still going to be doing the purification journey. I wanted to conclude, you know, just bring some closure a little bit to this part of it because we, you know, we did those 30 days. Um, I'm excited. All right. I'm excited. Thank you so much for doing this with me. We are going to still, 
we're going to come back and um, do some more reading because like I said in my uh, journal entry that uh, it's so many benefits. The Lord told us don't forget the benefits. And so this is another way, amen, uh, that we benefit from things that the Lord told us to do. So until next time, be blessed. Thank <laughs> you.